Today on Mod Summed Up, we are summarizing Forestry by Sir Sengir. Forestry originally started out as an add-on to Buildcraft and Industrialcraft, which introduced automatic farms and a couple new power generation options. Since that time, Forestry has grown and updated to include trees, bees, butterflies, and genetics for all three. Forestry has a couple machines that are used to process its crafting materials, and although the mod was originally meant for Buildcraft and Industrialcraft, it currently uses RF as its power system. The foundational farms have long since been merged into a single multi-block multi-farm that is configured with a circuit board and solderer, and requires water and fertilizer to run. Energy generation comes in the form of four engines and one generator. These are the wind-up clockwork engine, the biogas engine, the peat-fired engine, and the electrical engine for converting EU to RF, and the biogenerator for biogas to EU, which are only active if you have industrial craft installed. Forestry also has a mail and trade system, backpacks for a variety of things, weather control, a charcoal pit, and mycelium production, just for fun. Now the real meat of the mod includes its vast quantities of trees, bees, and butterflies. Trees you will find occasionally naturally in the world gen, and butterflies spawn on forestry trees occasionally. Bees are found by scooping hives found in various biomes and can be bred in a bee house, apiary, or alviary. Trees can be bred by planting forestry trees next to active bees. Butterflies are mostly just eye candy, but can serve as an additional method for pollinating trees. Putting a bee, tree, or butterfly into an analyzer will allow you to see all their genetic traits at the cost of honey drops. Breeding bees or trees crosses their genetic traits like those Punnett squares you did in biology class, but with a chance of mutating into a higher tier species if you have the correct combination. You can figure out what these combinations are using an escritoire. Different bees and trees produce different types of honeycomb and fruit, and higher tiers generally have better traits than lower tiers. This mod only introduces one pipe, which is the apiarist's pipe, which allows you to sort by bee genetics and works not only with buildcraft pipes, but thermal dynamics too. Now let's wrap up with the pack devs corner. Forestry is quite configurable, and also has mod tweaker support for its various machines. Not for its genetics or multi-blocks, but for its machines. Though it was originally an add-on, it now works magnificently as a standalone mod. Forestry has no real performance issues, and has numerous add-on mods, most of which are B-centric, and the most popular ones include Gendistry, which will be receiving its own summary, it's so big, see the description. JEI Bees, which lets you see what bee species will breed into others without an escritoire. More Bees, which provides bees for all sorts of different materials. And Benny's Mods, which is actually five mods combined, including additional bees, trees, flower genetics, and a revamped genetic system. In conclusion, Forestry may be an old mod, but it has numerous interesting features that can really add to most modded experiences. It is highly configurable, and can be a very powerful mod with the right knowledge. And that's all I have for Forestry. Thank you for watching Mod Summed Up, the show where we sum up mods.